Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com. And today I'm going to talk a bit about a question that you have all had at one time or another. And that question is simply, what should I draw today? And this little question can get in the way of a good day of possible drawing because you're sort of stuck at the blank white canvas. Well, first I'd say that once you're a professional, you never have to really ask that question during the workday again, because images like these that you're looking at here were given to me as assignments. I had to draw very specific things to fit specific criteria. So for me, it wasn't a question of what should I draw today? The subject might have been a sci-fi mothership, and it had all kind of specific requirements. So for me, the question was, Within those guidelines, how do I make something that's the very coolest? And what that does is it changes the question completely. I'm no longer paralyzed by this sense of, oh, I could draw anything. Should I draw a creature? Should I draw an environment? Something about that is a bit paralyzing. But even if you are a professional, you're going to be doing a lot of personal work. And that means you can be paralyzed by the exact same problem. What should I draw today? So as a broad answer to that question, I'd first say, draw something that is out of your comfort zone. This is the way we get better. If you need help with faces, draw a character. If you need help with perspective, draw an environment. But that doesn't really answer your question very specifically. So if you want to answer that question a little more specifically, it's great to have assignments. Sometimes it's good to go on to existing forums like conceptart.org, and they have weekly challenges. So somebody will give you a prompt, and a bunch of people will answer that same challenge. But if working publicly like that is not for you, the next thing I'd suggest would be random generators. So this is a random generator that is designed to help people create role-playing games, specifically things like Dungeons & Dragons. But it works really well for artwork. So for instance, here I picked Cyberpunk non-player character. This is just going to generate random cyberpunk characters. So let me read this one here. Rory Weiss, male paramedic. Rory is short with black hair and large gray eyes. He wears cargo pants and a Network 23 t-shirt. He carries twin automatic pistols. Rory is fascinated by artificial intelligence. Okay, now you've got a vision. Instead of just, I'm going to sit down and draw a character, now you've got a person with a name. There's not that much description about him, but it's enough to really get you thinking. So this would be a bit like getting a proper assignment from an art director. You have a specific guideline, and you need to work within it. And this site has all different sort of generators. So for instance, I've now selected Fantasy Castles. So I can't even pronounce the name of this one, number three here. Forthlore Keep. This large tower sits upon a volcanic outcrop, accessed by a single road. It appears deserted, but it's inhabited by a small company of mercenaries seeking work. The road which leads to the tower is lined with large stones. Once again, this gives you a lot to go on. So if you were to start your thumbnails right now, you've already got something in your mind's eye. Something to get going with. And if you want even more specific objects, this website, chaoticshiny.com, is awesome. It was built for the exact same purpose, but I would say, for artists, it's just as good. So on the left side of the page, you can see a huge list of categories. It could be magic weapons or shopkeepers, anything from a long list of sort of sci-fi and fantasy genre. And then all you do is set in a few variables, hit go, and you've got your art direction. After all, would you have ever imagined that there was such a thing as an animal companion generator? Well, here it is. So ultimately, you are not always going to have an assignment that's given to you by somebody else. But that doesn't stop you from generating your own random assignments. Because honestly, starting with a blank page and just deciding, I'm going to draw something, doesn't always get you good results. But once you've got that seed of an assignment, it becomes a lot easier and then you're off and running. So check the bottom of the post. I've linked to a bunch of these different random generators. Try them out. Maybe you'll have some interesting ideas to draw from today. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.